In this tutorial, we will model a combination spanner. So let's start by a 2D sketch on the X Z plane. And we'll start with a horizontal line, which will be uh, 110 mil in length. And then we just right click, put that as a construction line and then select the coincident constraint. And we'll put that constraint between the center point of the line and the origin. And we use this as the basis of the construction of this uh, combination spanner. So on the right hand side, we have a circle here, and then we have a hexagonal profile. So the circle is 16 mil, and for the hex profile, select the drop down on the rectangle tools, we'll select the polygon tool, make sure it's six sides, start at the origin here, just draw up like so, and we'll put another one in like that. Let's put a horizontal constraint on one of the, uh, on one of the hexes, and then a vertical constraint on the other one. And it's dimension between the endpoints of this one as 10 mil. And then we we'll just do two points of the other one uh, again as 10 mil. Now I'm just going to go ahead and remove uh, the lines using the trim tool. So we'll select the individual lines here, which we don't need. That's looking good. And now coming over to the other side, let's do the other head with the profile there. So this is uh, made of a series of eclipses. So if we go on the drop down of the circle tool, uh, we'll select the ellipse. And we'll draw in three of these. So we'll start at the end point of our construction line. We'll just put it, them as a slight angle. We'll put in one ellipse. Put in the second one there and then the third one like so. And then we'll just put in a line from the End point of our construction line to the top of the first ellipse, same to the second one, and the same to the third. I'm going to right click on each of these lines and put them as a construction line. And then we'll put one more line in from the end point of this construction line. And we'll put that also as a construction line, and then we'll dimension between one of the construction lines and this one as 10 degrees so that's our angle and then we'll go ahead and we'll dimension the axis of each of the ellipse so we'll start with the smallest one so the major axis is five and the minor is three and we'll go for the center ellipse so the major in this case is 11 and the minor is nine and then for the largest one, this will actually be the minor in this case, which is 11 due to its orientation. And the major will be 12 and a half. It's looking good. So we've got our three ellipses in there. Let's use the line tool from the top of our smaller quadrant. We'll just bring that out. We'll use the tangential constraint between that line and the eclipse. We'll do exactly the same on the other side. Use the tangent tool between that line and the eclipse. I'll just put in a parallel constraint between the two lines to make sure they are parallel. And then we use the trim tool and take away these two lines here. I'm also going to take away this arc, this one, and also this one. So now we can start to see uh, the, the, the foundation, at least, of our spanner. Let's go ahead on the 3D model tool uh, tab and select the extrusion tool. Go onto the top view, just rotate that, and we'll select the profiles we wish to extrude. So we'll take these two this one and we'll take this profile as well let's extrude these by five and select okay so we have our two heads and the profiles now we just need to input the body and for this i recommend inputting a plane so we we'll do a mid plane between two existing planes let's select this one as the first reference and this one as the second we have our plane just put in the center there let's left click on that create a new 2d sketch and for this, I'm going to draw in a two point a rectangle. I'm going to dimension the height of this as 10. Use a coincident constraint between this corner, this ellipse, and this corner, and this ellipse. That's looking good. Let's go ahead on 3D model. Let's extrude that, select that profile. We'll select a, a, a symmetric uh, in terms of the dimension uh, direction, and we'll select that as four millimeters. Press OK. Let's now use the fillet tool. Let's select all of our corners. Like so. And we'll input here 15 mil. There are 15 mil fillets. Let's right click on that work plane. Press V on the keyboard. Hide the visibility. 
Then we just need to put in the depressions on this face and this face. So let's create a 2D sketch on this face. And for this, we'll use the center point slot tool. We'll start this at the origin and we'll come across by 35 mil. Uh, and that will have a diameter of six. Looking good, that's fully constrained. Again, 3D model. Let's extrude, cut that. Let's extrude, cut that by 0.5 mil. Press OK. Now we need to do the same on the other side. So to do this, we're just going to mirror this feature. So let's mirror or select that feature. So in this case, extrusion six, and we'll mirror plane. We'll select the plane in which we input before. So work plane two, select OK. And there we have the depression on both sides. And there we have our completed spanner. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next tutorial.